Okay, today is December 14th. We're on lesson 7.5, example 1. We're working on problem solving today, so we have to use all of the ratios and our Pythagorean's theorem to solve these. Kim and Yuri live in an apartment building that are 30 meters apart. So, we need to make two apartment buildings. They have a diagram in the book. It looks like this. The two apartment buildings are 30 meters apart. Okay. It also says ah, a very important thing, angle of elevation and angle of depression. I had explained them to you on your test. I'm going to just give you a refresher here. Okay. Angle of depression and elevation. We're going to draw these two here. Both the angle of elevation and an angle of depression are measured off of horizontal lines. Okay? So let's say someone is standing here, because that's how most of our word problems are, and we're talking about an angle of elevation. The angle of elevation will be a horizontal line from wherever they are, and then another line heading upwards to create the angle we're talking about. If that same person was working with the angle of depression, which is the opposite of depressed, it's still the same idea. The angle is measured off of a horizontal line and then a line heading downwards from there, okay? Now, I want to refer this back to your quiz a little. I allowed you guys to get off the hook on the quiz. But on the quiz, the question I'd asked you for a guy who was standing on his balcony, and there was a car, and it said the angle of depression to the car was something like 70 degrees. Most of you guys said that was this angle here. Well, let's actually draw it out for you. okay. I, have the, I know the idea of what it's talking about. Okay? So on your quiz, you had a guy standing on his balcony, and it said he had an angle of depression of 70. Okay, let's fix that there. Okay? Most of you on your quiz said that this was the angle, 70 degrees. Okay? But that angle, I'm going to highlight it, is not measured off of a horizontal line. It's measured off of, whoops, wrong one. It's measured off of a vertical line and then our diagonal line. That is not an angle of depression, okay? Take that away. Your angle of depression is actually measured off of a horizontal line. So your angle of depression that should have been 70 should have looked like this, a straight line from where he is and an angle heading downwards. This here should have been your angle of depression at 70. Now I'll let you guys off the hook because I know we didn't talk too much about that. But you'll need to know that for your test. Angle of depression is measured from a horizontal line down. So if you had made a triangle out of this, in the triangle, this would be our 70 degrees because of our alternating rule of angles. Okay, We've created a Z pattern. Angle of elevation is the same idea. It's a horizontal line from the guy and an angle heading upwards. So back to our question. They talked about an angle of depression from Kim's balcony where Yuri's building meets the ground. So, we're gonna say Kim's balcony is here. Okay, here's Kim. Long hair. And it says there is an angle of depression from Kim's balcony that makes 40 degrees to the bottom of Yuri's building. And Yuri's balcony is here. She has a short haircut. Okay, so. That means angle of depression. First off, what do I have to draw for an angle of depression? A what? Horizontal line. So we have our horizontal line, and then it says it makes an angle of 40 degrees to the bottom of Yuri's building, which is over here. So the 40 degree angle is this angle in here. That is the angle of depression. Uh, this is Yuri, and this is Kim. Okay? 
It also says Yuri's building meets the ground. Oh, for the angle of elevation from Kim's balcony to Yuri's balcony is 20 degrees. So again, we need a horizontal line, which we already have. And then to Yuri's balcony, we have an angle of elevation, which is 20 degrees. Okay? So I have a question for you guys. From here to here, how big is that angle? 60. Good. I want to make sure you guys understand that idea. Okay. So we have two angles there. We also know because it's a horizontal line, we could technically make two right angle triangles out of this question. How far is it from Kim's building to Yuri's building? 30. So this horizontal line we've been drawing has a distance of 30 meters. Okay? Now, the question is asking us, how high is Kim's balcony above the ground to the nearest meter? So we only need Kim's balcony to the ground. So we need to find this height here. What part of our triangles are we going to be using then? We're going to be using from the horizontal line down. We're going to look for that side of the triangle. We'll call that our x side. Okay. So now we've got to figure out which ratio to use. I'm going to be working with this angle here, and I'll highlight the triangle. We're working with this right angle triangle to start, okay? This right angle triangle. We're looking for that X. We have the angle of 40 degrees, and I have what side would this be considered to that angle? Adjacent. And I'm looking for what side of the triangle to that angle? Opposite. Which ratio deals with opposite and adjacent? And very good. So we need to use our tangent ratio to solve for our x. So we're going to take our tan. Our angle is 40. Our opposite side is our x. Okay. So we replace O with x. Our adjacent side is the 30 meters. We have our 30. I bring 30 to the other side. It becomes 30 multiplied by tan 40 is equal to x. So 40 tangent times 30. 25.1, let's say approximately 25. So x is 25.1, approximately 25 meters. So the height of Kim's building Oh, sorry, Kim's balcony, we should say, from here to here, is 25 meters. Now, the second question B asks us, how high is Yuri's balcony above the ground? So what that means now is we need to solve for the distance above how high Kim's balcony is. So in other words, we use the other right angle triangle we made in this question. Let's see if I can highlight. We're looking for this triangle up here. Okay? It's the same idea. Only difference is our angle is now 20. What side is this considered to our 20 degrees? Adjacent, and we're looking for the opposite. Which ratio am I looking for? Good. Very simply, we're doing tan again. Okay, so we have our tangent. This time it's tan 20. Our opposite side we called y in this case. And our adjacent side was still 30. So same idea, 30 multiplied by tangent 20 is equal to y. 20 tangent times 30 is equal to 10.9 or 11. So we'll say y is 10.9, which is approximately 11 meters. So how high is Yuri's building, Dominic? What is it? Yeah, that's right. We have to add the two together. Technically, you found for that distance and that distance. So if we add 11 plus our 25, 36 meters. So Yuri's balcony is 36 meters above the ground. Kim's balcony is 25 meters above the ground. OK, you're in Italy. And you discovered the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, I hated this question. Made an angle with the ground that was 79.7 degrees. 
No, so I didn't give any? Oh. 79.9 degrees, okay? Width to ground, which in other words, if we were to draw an imaginary line straight down, this would be 90. It also said the sun, and I'm going to do my best to try to make this realistic here. The sun, it's a great sun. Our sun made an angle with the ground. Okay, that was also 79 degrees. Okay, it said that the shadow cast by the building, which is going to be this part here. I actually don't remember. 14.2, 14.8, I think it was 14.8 meters, yeah, 14.8 meters long was this distance, okay, so we have two right angle triangles, problem is, you know, I don't have the measurement for the height, I really kind of don't have it for, or I don't have it for either hypotenuse, I kind of don't have it for the base, they want to know how long this side of the building is, well, Technically, this larger triangle here, so I've broken it into two right angle triangles, but I want you guys to see that this larger triangle here is an isosceles triangle. And what that means is both these angles are the same. So because both those angles are the same, both these sides of the triangle are the same measurement, and this line technically cuts them straight through the middle. So because it cuts them straight through the middle, the base of these two triangles here would be 14.8 divided by 2. 14.8 divided by 2 is 7.4 meters. So each of these bases are 7.4 meters in length. Okay? Once you have that, you have this angle here. This side is considered what to that angle? Adjacent. And we're looking for the side of the building, which is considered the... So we're looking for adjacent and hypotenuse. Now, in our quiz, we haven't learned which law would we use right now. If I have if I have adjacent and hypotenuse, I'm looking for which of the ratios would I use? Close. Now, in your quiz, we only knew tangent. So I'm going to show you how to do this with cos, and I'm going to show you how to do this with tangent. Okay. Cos obviously will get the easier, quicker answer here. Okay, our angle was 79.9 degrees. Let's go down here. So we're talking about cos 79.9 is equal to the adjacent side is 7.4. The hypotenuse is what we're looking for, our x. Okay, so I got to bring x to the other side. So this becomes x multiplied by cos 79.9 is equal to 7.4. And I need to get x by itself, so I need to divide cos 79.9 on each side of the equation. Oops. There you go. So these two cos will cancel each other out. x is equal to 7.4 divided by cos 79.9. Is that what it is? Ends up at 42.2 when we plug it in. Very quick with our cosine. In your quiz, I wanted you to do a little more work. Because you only knew tangent ratio, that meant you could actually only solve for this side, the height of the triangle. So we're going to solve for that height of the triangle right now. Same idea. Tangent 79.9. Opposite is our x, adjacent is 7.4. When we bring 7.4 to the other side, I'm just going to put a line down here to separate these two questions. When I bring 7.4 to the other side of the equation, it becomes 7.4 times tangent 79.9, which is equal to x. What is our x equal? 41 point 
79.9 tangent times 7.4 equals 41.5. So 41.54, we'll say it's 41.5. Now with the information you guys have, we now have the adjacent side and we have this, which is 41.5 meters. How could I have solved for the hypotenuse now? Not knowing any of the other ratios. Pythagorean's theorem. We could have used Pythagorean's theorem because we had two sides of a right angle triangle. So Pythagorean's theorem, which is our a squared plus b squared <coughs> equals c squared. C is our hypotenuse. That's what we're looking for. So we take our two sides, 7.4 squared plus 41.5 squared is equal to c squared. And we work these out, 7.4, 54, 0.76 plus 41.5 squared, 1,722.25 is equal to C squared. We add those numbers together, 1,722.25 plus 54.76, 1,717.25. Zero, 01 c squared and to isolate c we're going to square root both sides of the equation so in this case we square root it 42.1 oh, and if we round it properly it becomes 42.2 so using our tangent law sorry law ratio using tangent ratio we could have solved this it would have just took us one extra step in this question 